Hey everyone, welcome back to Bear's Workshop. I'm Bear, and in today's video, we will be installing this misting system for the back patio. From there to there. So, let's take a look. All right guys, welcome back. So here we have the most popular misting system on Amazon. And even though it's September, we're still gonna install it because it's still pretty hot right now. Uh, it's just something that we needed to get to. All right, uh, so I got the 73 foot one. It's the longest one. I don't need 73 feet, but uh, I'll have some extras and I'll be able to do some stuff with it later. Uh, comes with, uh, I guess uh, this might be the instructions. Uh, oh, here, this is the instructions. Kind of a guide right here. We'll zoom in on that and give you a picture um, of how to hook it up. Really not much in the way for instructions. I got a thank you card from Amazon. Never gotten one of those before. Um, so let's see what comes in the package. We got a bunch of zip ties. Not sure what the zip ties are for. Uh, we've got two nozzles right here. We've got the uh, quarter inch uh, with a nail uh, so that you can nail this into something. And it's funny because we can't do that until we ch change some things and most people won't. We have some plumber's tape. Big piece, that's a lot of plumber's tape. And then we have our coil which has everything connected. This is goes right to the hose and then it's all one line with all the uh, with all the connections. We actually bought extra connections. Not really sure why I did because this, this is so much right here. But we bought a pack of connections. We're going to provide links of course to this, to this. Um, and what we're going to be using, how we're going to be installing this because this is stucco. And we're going to be using wood these wood pieces right here if you're wondering why they're just laying here. So we're going to be going around the wall, the upper corner, but we're going to put pieces of one by twos. We're going to put them into the stucco with, uh, with these right here uh, and then screw these in, probably four screws for each one and then we'll be able to nail it. Uh, using this, nail this in, and if these don't work for whatever reason, because these look really flimsy, we've got some other hooks right here. These are also quarter inch staples, uh, and we'll hammer those in. This is for holding cable, and since these are, this is quarter inch, uh, either one of these are going to work. When we're done, we're going to have this hanging off the wood, which is not all that attractive, but we're, we're going to paint it. We're going to paint it the house color, and everything should blend in. I'm not worried about these misters being too close to wood. This is untreated wood. Uh, it's going to be underneath, so it's never going to get wet from the rain. Never, ever. Uh, but the misting will, will get it a little bit wet. But we don't, it's not like something we're going to run 24 7. We'll probably be running it just when we're out here for a couple hours. I'm not worried about the, the wood rotting or anything like that. Once you turn something like that off here in Arizona, everything is just going to. Uh, it's going to dry out real quick because it, it gets so darn hot. So let's take a look and see how easy this is to install and how well it works. We've all, oh, we've also got a hose filter right here uh, to keep uh, things from getting clogged up. This is something that you put in at the end of the hose so that if there's any particulates that are too fat running through your water line, it won't clog up these drip heads. So let's uh, go ahead and let, we're going to start putting up the wood. Um, and we'll see how this goes. All right, we've got all of the boards up to hold the misters. You can see them up here. They're not perfect, they're just scrapped wood. Um, they look like crap right now because of the contrast and color, but we're just gonna paint them the same color as the house. They're going to blend in really well, and we're going to do that after we get the misting system up. Uh, that way we're going to paint everything. Uh, the lines will just uh, cover up the br brass plugs so that they don't get paint in them. Uh, but we just did it all the way around. It's stucco, so you're either going to need a good impact drill 
or some sort of hammer drill in order to get through it, because it's basically concrete. Um, we had to use a couple different drill bits, uh, skinny, fatter, fatter, until we can get our anchors in there. So they're just anchored up there, uh, just with typical wall, wall anchors that expand like so. All right, next we're gonna take a look. Uh, we're gonna test fit the drip line up to the hose bib, and let's take a look. So this is the pipe that we put in uh, before we started the video. This pipe goes directly down into our irrigation box. All we did was tap into the irrigation line. The line is always on, not for the irrigation, but be, this is before the valves. So there's always water to it. We turn this and water is gonna come out. So we already had this uh, installed. Uh, simple PVC connection to a copper pipe. You don't even need to use a copper pipe. You can use PVC through the whole thing. All you're gonna do is cut out a small section, put in your T and uh, some sort of shutoff handle. And that's what we did here. We just did a, a quarter turn, uh, quarter ton, quarter turn shutoff, three quarter inch uh, copper piping. So next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna connect this piece up. Now, if you look inside of this, we've got the, the rubber gasket, the black gasket that they, included that has the filter on it. We wanted to use that because we want to filter out any kind of contaminants. This is gonna be the first place you're gonna look if you have no water coming out or low pressure. Uh, the second thing is I added this red ring right here because I did test fit this and it did not fit. Well, it fit, but there was water spraying out everywhere. Um, like a year ago, I bought a 20 pack. I think uh, I think it was 20 pack of, the, of these red grommets these washers and for hose bibs. And I just always have them around and they're very, very handy because you never know when you're gonna need one when one of them goes bad or something happens. So uh, I just stuck one of these in here. We're just gonna tighten this on and you're gonna, do, you're gonna tighten this with a wrench. If you don't tighten it all the way, you will have leaks. You want this to be a solid sealed line. So I've got a hand tight. I'm gonna grab the wrench. I'm gonna tighten it up the rest of the way. Once you've got it all tight, you want to turn your water on and now the misting system is filling up but it's laying on the floor. But you want to make sure you don't have any leaks. And we are good to go on this. We're going to go ahead and shut this off. We're going to run the line up here. I'm going to use a couple metal staples that will hold it good enough for this and then up to the wood up there and then straight across. And this seems to be about the perfect length. We're going to Keep it about a foot off the house. Well, we almost forgot. We got a uh, calcium filter. Calcium inhibit filter. This is also we got off of Amazon. And we're gonna put this on here. The water here in Arizona has a lot of calcium. Um, I'm told more than other parts of the country. Who knows? But uh, we're gonna put this on and we're also going to add in another one of these just to be sure there appears to be one in there, but I'm gonna throw in this one instead because I, I know that those work and the ones that they already supplied didn't work. So simply goes in line like this or we'll tighten this with the wrench in a minute. And we'll put this on top with our washer. Now, just so you know, this line right here, after we get everything on here secured to the best of what we want to, um, I will be painting this also. The, the sun will eat through plastic like this, especially in places like Arizona. I'd give this a, a year or two, unless you put something on top of it to protect it. So we're gonna paint this. So in the uh, item description, it says that the uh, first bit of length before the first emitter mister is 9.8 feet this is the length that's just it's probably just over six and a half feet and that matters because your first emitter needs to be a certain distance 
Uh, for us, for example, we probably needed eight feet. So this suddenly does it. It's not long enough. So with this emitter right here, we don't want this one to be on. Um, we don't have a plug for it. There are no plugs available according to the to the item description and the comments on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find something at Home Depot to uh, clog this up with. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now, but it's just too close to the house. I would want it a little bit more off the house. But we're going to go ahead and put this one up, and we're going to go along the line, nail them in with their supplied anchors, and just go all the way around. Okay, so this is going to be our last uh, drip mister. Uh, we've got all this extra, but that's okay. I ordered extra just for fun. Um, so what we need to do is disconnect this. You hold, you hold in this piece, and then you pull that out. We have a stopper that came with it. Only one stopper came with it. Um, and the spare bag uh, of emitters that I bought, there's actually more of these. So we've got this, and we're just going to plug that in, and that creates a seal on it. Um, Next step after we after I just nail this one up is we're going to go around to each one of these and we're going to point each mister so that it's spraying out. We're going to the misters are pointed in all sorts of angles right now, so we're going to point them in the angle that we want. In my situation, I want to spray them out or in towards the patio. Um, the reason for this is because I've got stucco in the wood that is connected to right there. So if I went like this. We're going to get some moisture on the wood. We're going to get moisture all over half of the stucco because the wall is like this. So we're going to spray them out and then they'll start spreading out. They'll have a couple inches more to, to spread out and create the mist. So that's how we're going to set these up. Depends on your situation and how you want them. If you're in a place where you could just hang them straight down, then you're going to hang them straight down. But I just want to avoid getting all that moisture onto the onto the house itself. So that's what we're doing next. Okay, so we're gonna turn it on right now and we're gonna see which one's missed and which one's drip. One thing I forgot to do was make sure each one of these emitters was tight. So there might be some that drip. So let's turn it on and see what it looks like. Okay, we found one dripper instead of mister. We got one other one that's dripping, but that's because I tried to clog that one. And I'm going to put a cap on that one. But this one is obviously dripping. So all the others look to be good. So let me just see if I can tighten that one up and maybe that's all it needs. Okay, on that mister where the line plugs into here, one of these blue pieces was out too far. This is uh, the compression fitting. It's hard to see, but it was out a little bit too far. So I pulled the line out, pushed this back in, and then pushed it out push the line back in and that took care of the drip. Okay, so on the painting the misters, uh, I took the brass caps off of every every one of them and we're gonna go over it with uh, paint. We're using a Home Right Finish Max Super Paint Sprayer. Uh, you can see a review for that uh, probably right here in that corner. Uh, we just got this and we've tested it out. We're ready to spray with it and see how this covers everything up. The brass plugs were pulled out because I don't want to get paint in the and the tiny little holes, and I can put those back in even if they get a little paint in the holes. That can be uh, cleaned out very easily. So this is the best way to uh, paint this in my opinion. Or, well, we'll see, it could be a total fail. <laughs> what do I know? Okay, so now that we've got everything installed, we've got the misters on, we get a lot of pressure out of them. We didn't put a pressure reducer, we're just gonna not open the valve as much so that we don't have as much water, because this will, there is enough here to soak you. Uh, there's space close enough that you get, you're gonna get a lot of water out if you got good water pressure, which we do. Um, overall, uh, everything is working, none of them drip. They're all spraying nice. Uh, as you can see, I painted, painted them. I, 
would like uh, better hangers of some sort. And if I really wanted to go all out, I probably use, would use a solid pipe to move the water instead of this pipe that's hanging down because it, it's it's flex pipe, it's flexible pipe, so it, it, it's not straight. I mean, in an ideal world, a perfectly straight, solid pipe would have been nice. But it is what it is. Um, it's going to do what it needs to do. It's going to keep us cool on this patio when it's 115 degrees out. Um, so thanks for watching. If you want to support this channel, uh, please subscribe. But also, if you're looking at something like this, click on that Amazon link that's down in the description. Even if you don't buy this, if you buy something else, it still helps to support the channel. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, any comments, put them down below. Hit that like button. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.